Today, we're going to shoot indoors. Hi, I'm Kevin Tengon. Let's talk video. A few questions have been raised about shooting video indoors, especially in dark rooms. Here are some basic settings to help you out. First, let's start with the scene. This is how it appears true to life, which is probably darker than what you'll be dealing with, but it makes for a good example. The focus point is the plaque in the bottom right of the scene. The first thing I want to do is set my shutter speed. A good rule of thumb is to set the shutter speed to double your frame rate. In this case, I'm shooting at 24 frames per second, so I'll set my shutter speed to 50. Step two is to properly expose the video. With my shutter speed set, I can brighten the scene in one of two ways. I can open the aperture, or I can boost the ISO. Let's see what happens when I open the aperture. As you can see, the scene does get brighter. However, while the plaque stays in focus, everything else falls out of focus. The reason for this is that as you open the aperture, the depth of field becomes more shallow. In other words, your focus range decreases, and the less is in focus in front of and behind your focus point. For this reason, when shooting a room, I generally want to close the aperture to have a wide depth of field or large focus range. A setting between 7.1 and 11 usually works best to have the entire room in focus. Let's see what happens when I close the aperture. As you can see, my focus range increases and more of the scene comes into focus, but everything gets darker. In order to compensate, I'll need to boost the ISO. By boosting the ISO, I can brighten the scene without the need for external lights. The final result is a properly exposed scene with everything in focus. Here's the before and after side by side. See you next time.